Welcome everyone to Noche and a Beyond. A Latin theme is the backdrop to tonight's festivities. Alongside Craig Anthony and Steve Smith with David Aldridge on the sideline, this is Kevin Harlan. DA, it's all yours. Well, the era of star-free agents increasingly being on the move has created a media frenzy that sometimes can be intense and draining. Some players like Kevin Durant have pushed back against year-long and incessant free agency questions. Warriors coach Steve Kerr said, we're all actors in a soap opera and we have to deal with that part of it. Kevin? It can be a circus. David, thanks. As we approach the playoffs, let's see how the East is shaping up. Look at the Heat, advantage in one series. And checking out New York, right now quite a ways down below. And you know for the Heat, they've moved toward the postseason with one of the best records in the league. Safe to say, this is not where most people thought they'd be at this stage of the year. Yet yeah, here they are. And at this point, you've got to think they're set up to make a serious run in the postseason. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. They've got Barrett. Randall out there with Mo Harkless. Then it's Taj Gibson. And it's Peyton in at the one spot. And for the Heat, they've got Jones. He's out there with Jimmy Butler. Bam Adebayo is out there with Robinson. And it's none in at the point. Well, Smitty, for players and teams that are out of the playoff hunt, how do they stay motivated here to go the uh, rest of the season every night, every practice, every trip? And I think that's when the organization, your captains, your coaches, you got to talk about being a pro. Sometimes you lose focus. You're not in the playoffs, and maybe your team that was supposed to be or not slated to be in the playoffs, you still are a professional. You have to have a professional approach. Shots good by Gibson. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Pass to none. They get a hand on it. Harkless with the steal. Peyton finds Gibson. That's in. Coming off an assist from Peyton. Gibson's got his second basket of the game. The hard working mentality of Taj. So clever at finishing through the hit. Here's Butler. Shot is good off the back rim and in. First quarter just over a minute played. Peyton passes to Gibson. Here's Barrett. Bucket is good. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Ball's knocked loose. Right at the free throw line. Oh, and that one had the right spit on it, and it is good. Butler's got his second basket of the night. Passes it to Gibson. Now here's Peyton. Takes the 13-footer, and there are the Knicks with another bucket. A lot of enthusiasm to the start of this game. So far, a perfect four for four. Butler from outside. Drains it from beyond the arc. Butler's got seven points in the game. Jimmy Butler confident in everything he does. Able to score from anywhere on the floor. Nice fadeaway to get over the top. And, and sometimes you just can't get around your defender there. You got to hit him with that high top fade. Adebayo passes to none. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help? Defensively, No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Shooting one. Ah. 
and Bam Adebayo. He just plays with so much energy when he's on the floor. Boy, he is ferocious on both ends of the floor. Great energy player who can finish in the paint with the best of them. Very quick on his feet and can cover a lot of ground for a player his size. Here's none. He had an 18-point outing in the last game against Charlotte. Outside Robinson. Shoots the three. And again, Miami with the triple. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Peyton passes to Harkless. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Where you always have confidence in the Heat organization is at the top. Pat Riley with nine championship rings as a player, as an assistant coach, as a head coach, and as a team president. He knows how to win from every perspective. Shooting two. First free throw is good. You're right, Steve. You look at Riley's career, most people are just looking to accomplish one of the things he's done. Kevin, he has a great mind. He's incredibly driven. He understands how to motivate people, and he understands what's important to focus on. And both free throws good for Peyton. And the six foot, 485 pound Peyton certainly has a unique skill set. Also, wants to keep improving as a leader. Outside Gibson, no one near him. And the jumper is on the mark. Gibson's got eight. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. Three-pointer, Butler, and the Heat, another three. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Peyton outside. Barrett with the ball. Robinson on him. And Barrett gets it to go. I love seeing Barrett cash in there. He knows he has what it takes to finish through contact. Here's none. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Julius Randle picks one up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. The Heat shooting their second and third free throws tonight. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Two. And the first one drops. Even when plays, Steve, aren't being run for them, certain guys always get a lot of their points on tip-ins and put-backs. They're always right there. Uh, who catches your eye in that category? Andre Drummond, uh, for sure, Kevin. He's phenomenal on the offensive glass. Mm -hmm. uh, Rudy Gobert. Uh, Al Horford, he gets those timely tip-ins. He does, you're um, right. And then I look at another guy, his white side. When he's engaged, he can. Marvin Bagley is a newer name, and he's fantastic at that as well. Now, here is Robinson. 23 points for him the last game against Charlotte. And his scoring is going to get most of the attention, but his rebounding also stood out. He did a lot of glass cleaning in that game. Here's Barrett. The Heat getting the bucket. Oh! Ooh. This guy is a fantastic athlete. Barrett looking like a man on a mission with that slam. None passes to Butler. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Butler's got 12 points in the game. His shot making has been superb this quarter. He's taken over this game. There's the pass to Barrett. Shot clock at six. Robinson passes to Randall. And the shot clock expires. 24 second violation. And Miami has possession. They lead by four. None. Tango. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. Hammering down the two-hand slam. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. 
Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Jimmy Butler has been on display for the Miami Heat. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. Tough nose Jimmy Butler talks about the mantle of being a franchise player. You call me a leader, all star, whatever you want to call it. But um, with that comes a lot of, uh, you know, some people call it pressure, but uh, a lot of responsibility is what I call it. You know, every night you got to show up. You have to be productive. You have to show guys even when you're hurt, you can still play. Um, even when you're tired, you got to go out there and do what you're supposed to do. It's fun to me. I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. And that's what he worked for. And he works as hard as anyone, Greg, in the NBA. And you see that competitiveness and desire in his play. And we welcome you back to our special Noche Latina broadcast. As the second quarter getting going right now. And let's quickly break down the game we've been seeing from the Heat, guys. I know it's early, but all those three-pointers, boy, do they add up. And that's their strategy. Try to overwhelm you. Try to put you in a hole you have to dig yourself out of. Hero out there with Dragic. Then it's Kelly Olynyk. Then it's Jay Crowder. And it's Butler in at the small forward. That's the group on the floor for Miami. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Kevin, before he became a head coach in Memphis and New York, David Fisdale spent eight seasons as an assistant under Eric Spolstra in Miami. Now, Spo said he's a brilliant basketball mind that has exceptional gold standard level communication skills. One of the most talented coaches I've been around. So, Kevin, Fisdale is highly respected. David, he sure is. Great reputation. Now getting his shot. Thank you so much. And Olenek gets it to go on the assist from Crowder. Now it's a seven-point Miami lead. And, you know, Smitty, just, just a wall of muscle. Jay Crowder. One of those power wings that seems every team is looking for these days. Yeah, he's able to straddle that line between perimeter and interior play. His versatility and competitive will set him apart. Rockets the pass to Hero. He kicks it to Butler. Robinson with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. Andre Gudala. He's checked in for the Heat. Frank Neely Keen is checked in for the Knicks. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Shot clock at five. Buries the long range jumper. Dragic has got the lead up to eight now for the Heat. Good rhythm from deep. Goran Dragic always more accurate when he's shooting under control. Rejected by Dragic to the middle. Here's Olenek. Robinson with the block. Portis kicks to Neely Kina. Well placed. LU pass into the layup. Knows it's his job to dish the ball. Neely Kina is a floor general you can rely on. Always going up for the alley -oop here. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. Let's get some information from the 2K leaderboard. In about the last 10 games in the NBA, during that span, these teams have the most second-chance points in the league. Number one, the Knicks. I mean, you love their aggressiveness, not settling for one shot offensively, but really running down those loose boards and, and converting for extra points. And out of Marquette, Jay Crowder, rank a sturdy two-way wing player. A great system player and glue guy. He had his best years with the Celtics. On the final year of this contract, a great value considering what he brings to the table. You now the league is trying to maximize competition, Steve, and uh, flatten lottery odds has been one way to do it. Um, will that be enough, or is there still work to be done in that regard? You know, I love the way they've done it so far, but I still think they can tweak it even more and we'll get a better product on the floor where teams get a chance to compete for all 82 games. I like what I'm seeing right now. The Heat making a switch here. Leonard's checked in. Now here's Bullock. He's covered by Leonard. That's tipped. Leonard with the steal. Pass to Iguodala. 
Back to Leonard. Pass to Igudala. Just five to shoot. And it's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played, and the shot goes in. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the Knicks. It's a 10-point game. Following this one, they get to host the Hornets. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. That makes it 10 of their last 12 coming from inside the paint. And Leonard gets it to go. And when you've got that much of a size advantage on your defender, that's how you take advantage of it. Pass to Portis. With the shot. That's good on the jump shot. Portis has got his first bucket in this one. The Heat leading by eight. One forty-four left here in the second. And stolen by Portis. And he lobs it up toward the rim. On the wing, it's Igudala. And stolen by Portis. Here's Neela Kina. And the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Obviously comfortable operating from the mid-range. It's great to see Neela Kina just being himself and playing his game. Good ball movement here by Miami. He gets that one. Dragic has got five. Great pass to set your man up with a high percentage look. Knocked loose. Neely Kina passes to Knox. Now here's Bullock. Guarded closer. Nice shot by Portis. That was physical D, but Bobby Portis is so strong, he finished through contact. Here's Hero. He's guarded by Bullock. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Neely Kina kicks to Portis. Shoots over Leonard. And he makes that one. And now it's just a four-point heat lead. Coming off a scoreless first quarter, he's found a little rhythm here. And here's Dragic. He has five. Here's Hero. And again, Miami with the triple. And so we conclude the first half. Miami ahead. They lead by seven. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Kevin, thank you. Here with Alfred Payton. Alfred, what's the game plan defensively in the second half? We've got to continue to stay home on shooters. Uh, they hit a lot of threes. Uh, if we cut that off, we have a good chance to win. And we'll see what happens there, EP. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. We'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half momentarily. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. What a start for Jimmy Butler. He had 12 points and one steal. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Heat first half. Well, it's about time Jimmy Butler decides to take over. Something we know he can do. Tough, physical, skilled, and when he's got that jumper working, Woo we And over to Kenny, what'd you think about New York? Well, they're giving up too many high percentage looks, Ernie. They're not closing down the lane, and they're not going hard on the perimeter. That will get an L in any book. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. We are seeing a tremendous game from Jimmy Butler. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. 
And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. Tipping off the second half, here's David Fisdale's five. We've got Mo Harkless. Randall out there with Taj Gibson. Then it's Barrett, and it's Peyton in at the point. Butler dishes to Jones. Here's none, defended by Gibson. Let's it go from 11, and Adebayo throws it down. Excellent on both ends of that play. Yeah, the steal was sharp, but the slam topped it off. Turning defense into offense. Every coach talks about it. Perfect example right there. Outside Butler. And it's blocked. Not a traditional rim protector. Rando gets by on effort and instinct. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Here's Butler, and the Heat get another bucket right there. Continuing to stoke the fire, his shot making has been absolutely superb. And you look at Jimmy Butler. He was about 6'8", about 230 pounds. Uh, great, great size on the wing. And he keeps himself in tip-top shape. His strength, one thing I'm not sure the casual fan even recognizes. Loats it up for Butler, and it's Butler with the jam. Love the eye contact by Jimmy Butler and his teammate before he rolls up for that alley-oop. Knicks trail by 11. Here's Peyton. Eight points for him. And it goes down two points. Peyton's got ten points. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Outside Robinson. Kicks to Jones. Three-pointer. Butler. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Butler's got the lead up to 12 now for the Heat. Firing on all cylinders here in the third. Only one miss in five attempts. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Jimmy Butler has made several all-star teams, but he remains single-minded in pursuit of his bigger goal. Butler said, I just want to win a championship. That's all that matters. I didn't do it in high school, didn't do it in college. If I don't win it here, then I'll go to the 50 and over league someday. But I gotta win a championship at some stage. Kevin? I like that attitude. Thank you, DA. Kelly Olenix checked in for Miami. And a switcher also for New York. Ellington's checked in. Knocked away. Olenek the pass to Robinson. Good ball movement here by the Heat. And it's blocked. The pass to Peyton. Back to Gibson. He kicks to Peyton. Robinson with the block. And it's blocked. Randall down low. He's against Olenek. Left side, Gibson. Over, Adebayo. That's it, and the Miami lead is cut down now to just 10 on the basket from Gibson. You can see the confidence from mid-range. That's a valuable part of Gibson's game. Back to Robinson. Pass to none. Lock at six. It's blocked. Ellington, the pass to Randall. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Randall's got it back down to within single digits for the Knicks. Pass to none. And here's the fast break. Rand oh, 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 wow. He went <laughs> high, high, high. That was nice. Showing not just the dominance, but the creativity. Randall with the highlight real play. Butler. Good for the basket, number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for New York. Inside. Shot is good, and the Heat's lead is cut down to six on the bucket from Randall. And I like that they're not settling. Getting the ball on the interior, eight of their last ten coming that way. Randall brings the double team. Passes it to Butler. Here's none. Five to shoot. 
takes a three. And Jimmy Butler, good for three. Butler's got 12 points here in the second half. Defensively, they've had no answer for him this period. And he continues to stay aggressive. Gibson passes to Ellington. Trying to get open is Gibson. That's good, and the Heat lead is cut down to seven on the bucket from Ellington. And a lot of teams avoid the mid-range jumper, but they seem to be using it well. Here's none. And again, Miami with the triple. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. You know what? They talked about this at halftime, and they're doing a better job of creating space. And so it's the Miami Heat going into the break with a 10-point lead. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And let's take this chance now to show you the State Farm assist of the game. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Miami leading by 10. Our fourth quarter action underway, presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the court for the Heat, Jimmy Butler is out there with Myers Leonard. Then there's Drogic. Then it's Bam Adebayo. And it's Igudala in at the shooting guard. To the inside, here's Randall. And Butler sends it back. One of the most versatile defenders we have in the league. Butler's reach also allowed him to get that block. Here's Adebayo. Sinks the triple. Adebayo's got the lead up to 13 now for the Heat. Smitty, we're seeing preseason and even regular season games take place overseas on foreign soil. Would you have enjoyed that when you were playing? Yeah, for sure, Kevin. I know the travel is, is an added challenge, and at the same time, you appreciate where the game takes you. It is definitely growing globally, going places you might otherwise never experience, especially in a basketball setting. And Matador defense, that's one of the easiest shots he is ever going to see. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. And that's just cold-blooded right there. He's taking no prisoners. Expanding upon this lead, trying to close it out. He's really stepped up. Puts it up from 12, and the jumper falls for him. And that's 15 points for Alfred Payton. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Iguodala dishes to Dragic. Yo, yo, kick it out. Oh, oh, oh. Butler feeling out a bit. Kicks it out to Iguodala. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And the Heat lead by 15. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. Rogic against Payton. Outside Portis. Fires from deep. And the Knicks hit again from deep. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, they say players are made in the summertime, and that's Jimmy Butler's favorite time of year. He calls it grimy season, gets out in the country, and puts in that work. Here's what Find Miami's going with right Find now. Derek Jones What's comes up? in for Myers Leonard, and Hero subbed in for Andre Iguodala. And Greg, those summertime workouts for Butler, they are something. I mean, they sure are. He calls them bandanas and buckets. Grows his hair out, two-a-days, hot yoga, intentionally isolated from the hustle and bustle of the big city. It gives him an excuse to really just lock in. 
Here's Hero. He's guarded by Bullock. With some arc. Shots good by Hero. Good setup by Gorn. Keeps himself under control. Makes the right decision. Here's Bullock. That's good from 17 feet away. Bullock's got his first bucket of the night. And that pick takes the D totally out of the equation. Hey, if you're not going to fight over, you're essentially giving the shooter the look he wants. Rogic kicks to Adebayo. It's good. He needs to be more proactive on offense and shoot it more. He's making most of his shots, so he's got to demand the ball more. Robinson up top. He's guarded by Adebayo. Here's Peyton. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Wow, he doesn't make plays like that very often. That's a nice move inside. Jones trying to get open. Robinson with the block. Kicks it to Peyton. Now the pass to Randall. Rejected by Trogic, and he recovers it. Here's Bullock, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. The Heat leading by 13. Hero passes to Jones. And he lobs it up. And guys, what we saw here tonight is one side having everything going for them. Huge margin of victory for the Heat. Tonight, they seem committed to the three-point shot. Uh, that was the bread and butter. Fortunately, they made enough of those, but, but sometimes it was quantity over quality. And so they'll be advancing their win total to 42 games. And they put themselves into the driver's seat in regards to the season series with this team. Tonight's win will give them a two-to-one edge with only one left to play. And one of the key components to this victory, if not the biggest, was the incredible performance for Butler. High-level shot-making, what we got a chance to witness. He responded to good defense with better offense time and time again. Rogic dishes to Butler. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And the shot is good. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. Yeah, just nice strength there and then just off with the shot. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And so he hits both. And here are the Heat now. 17 points was their biggest margin. Here's Hero. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. Some good moments throughout this one, but they have the clear advantage down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, I, I love the way they executed on both ends of the floor, completely under control for the vast majority of the game. And whenever there was a misstep, they just didn't allow it to fester. And 